Revenues are up, and our stock has never been higher. And that's why we've decided to rename Toby and Andrew. What? See, Marvel Research Department shows people love Boner, Ralph Boner, in WandaVision. But you can't do this to me. No, it's true. I got a lot of tweets right here that said, WandaVision, give me more Boner. You know how much I sacrificed? You know, I'm reading this back, guys. I think it says Wanda gave me a Boner. Hello, Spider-Man fans. It's an amazing day in the neighborhood when we get to talk some Spider-Man No Way Home. And a lot of you out there, just like me, we're put into rest, we're folding away, we're closing that hamper that we were just done thinking the Spider-Verse was gonna be a thing after we got bonafide by Marvel in WandaVision with that weird Quicksilver twist they decided to pull on us. But then, something unexpected that you just can't ignore happens. And I'm back on that spider train, y'all. I don't care! What we're gonna be talking about here today is there's been some new evidence that has surfaced online that could possibly hint to us that Andrew Garfield is on the set of Spider-Man 3. I ain't no lawyer, but if Matt Murdock was here, I think he'd consider this a slam dunk for his case. Along with other set photos that have recently been revealed on the set of Spider-Man 3. So I'm gonna need you Spider-Man fans to give me your opinions down below. Obviously, keep it in mind, this is no way 100% confirmation. This is no way guaranteed that the spider people will be showing up Andrew Garfield Tobey Maguire but if you can't have some fun speculate and wonder about one of your favorite superheroes and their third movie coming up what's the point of being a fan y'all so let me know down below are you still on this spider-verse train do you think Toby and Andrew are still going to be in it even with cast members saying they're not part of it there's been no confirmation about it or are you holding out hope that they will actually be there all right so a lot of this was happening yesterday in the day when out of nowhere we got this Instagram post from William Spencer who isn't just any stuntman in the industry he is specifically Andrew Garfield's stuntman in Amazing Spider-Man and Amazing Spider-Man 2. He took to Instagram to post a video of him just jumping around goofing on the set of a movie, not specifically saying it's Spider-Man 3, but we figure it's Spider-Man No Way Home because in the description of this post, he goes ahead and tags Greg Townley, who also happens to be Tom Holland's stunt double. Even in the comments section when he was asked if this was the set of Spider-Man No Way Home, William Spencer went ahead and left a like, not really replying, but that like is all we needed to know that this is the set of Spider-Man No Way Home. And immediately when seeing this, I got skeptical, okay? I was like, oh, this is a stuntman. He's not exclusively only Andrew Garfield's stuntman. I'm sure the guy does other work and being a stunt guy, he's probably worked on a bunch of Marvel movies. So let me go to his IMDB page and see his resume of all the Marvel movies he's been in and yeah, he's only been in the Amazing Spider-Man movies. He's never worked before in any other MCU film in the past or other Spider-Man movies. And since Marvel really does like to keep hiring the same stunt doubles over and over for these things, it does seem kind of odd that they would bring in William Spencer for this random role that he's obviously dressed like some sort of character in the movie. But then the plot thickened. Because once fans started to take note of this and it was blowing up online that Andrew Garfield's stunt double and Tom Holland's stunt double were on the set of Spider-Man 3 only fueling up those Spider-Verse rumors that we're all hoping come true, he went ahead and deleted the post. And that lets me know Kevin Feige and them Marvel snipers <clears throat> got to the boy. We have to give it up for our fallen comrade. He was sending a message to us fans. We heard it loud and clear. It's always fishy to me when stuff like this happens because like the clues are all there man like we're getting a movie called Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness we're obviously exploring the multiverse we've heard countless times from multiple different sources that they are bringing in the Spider-Verse people we even have Electro played by Jamie Foxx and Alfred Molina Dr. Octopus confirmed to be part of this cast and we're still on the edge wondering could this be a reality so to me even though, like I said, not 100% confirmation, gotta tame my expectations, don't wanna come in disappointed when watching Spider-Man 3. I'm gonna be happy no matter what Marvel does, even if Andrew and Toby are not in the movie. But even when I look at this Instagram post and what this guy was wearing, I feel like, yes, this would be something exactly to what Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man was wearing in his movies in The Amazing Spider-Man. This fits his little skater persona that they gave him. And I could totally see Andrew Garfield rocking this on the set of Spider-Man No Way Home. The only other thing that kind of concerns me is the hair. Like, this stunt double has to be looking almost exactly like Andrew Garfield. And that hair is a little longer than what I would expect Andrew to be having here. But putting that aside and playing devil's advocate for a second, it could be a very good reason. Like we said, this stunt double 
Marvel could just be playing a whole another character in Spider-Man No Way Home that isn't connected to Andrew Garfield and he could just be doing some stunts for another actor in the movie. That is very possible and with a resume of him working on Spider-Man movies in the past, he would be a good fit for that. And if that's the case, why would he delete the Instagram post? It's just to keep that expectation that a lot of Spider-Man fans like me are having that the Spider-People will be showing up in this movie because they got Tom Holland in every interview that he's been in so far saying no, they're not in the movie, not as far as I know, they're not showing up. This would only start those fires right back up if this was still out there. But to me, it's also like, just let it stay out there. Why would you delete it? That makes it a lot more fishier. I know I joked around in the beginning of my video about the whole Ralph Boner situation that happened in WandaVision. And because of that reason, there's still a lot of Spider-Man fans that don't even want to see the Spider-Verse happen anymore because now they see the way Marvel wants to treat these brand new characters that it is kind of scary that we're handing them over what has been our childhood with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield for them to possibly get rid of their origins, make them into whole brand new characters, change their names up somehow, and really just not make them the same people we expect them. If this is Andrew Garfield, like I said, that outfit kind of matches what I would expect his character to be dressing like, and I would hope they keep all the interesting backstory and lore involved with those Spider-Man characters. And even at the end of WandaVision, like I was saying, my expectations now for the Spider-Verse to happen in live action were down to like 10%. Seeing something like this go down, the stunt double of Andrew Garfield working with the stunt double of Tom Holland, meaning there are stunts that need to be happening in this scene, because why else would the stunt people be there? They're not just there to kind of stand around and not do anything. There's a cool little something something happening here, and now this kind of has brought me back up to maybe 40, 50% it could still happen. Other than that, we have gotten other set photos from the set of Spider-Man No Way Home since they still currently are filming. We have another sign here that reads, We Believe Mysterio, just going again to the fact that this movie is going to be dealing with the aftermath of Spider-Man Far From Home and some people in New York believing that Mysterio was a hero and other people believing that Spider-Man is innocent and that he was framed. We also had comedian Hannibal Burris, who played the coach in Spider-Man Homecoming show off that he is part of this third movie and the coach will be coming back, which I'm really happy because I think he's a funny guy and I like seeing him pop in there but again this was also something that had to be deleted off his Instagram he posted this up there and they deleted it I don't think there's anything really spoilerish here you have Zendaya's character playing basketball I think they just want to keep all the leaks of Spider-Man to a minimum but hey if you're excited for that character he's coming back we also had other set photos of some band members that are going to be involved in Spider-Man No Way Home it really feels like Spider-Man No Way Home is going to be taking place a lot more in Peter Parker's high school setting which I'm very happy about because every other Spider-Man franchise, once you got to the second film, Peter was out of high school doing something else. Now we're in this third Spider-Man movie, which you could technically call the fourth or fifth time we see Tom Holland's Spider-Man, and he's still in high school, which is pretty awesome because they would have aged him out. This is really just where I go ahead and throw it off to you guys. You see right here that the stunt double for Andrew Garfield is on the set of Spider-Man No Way Home with the stunt double of Tom Holland. Do you think this kind of hints to the Spider-Verse being a thing? Why do you think they went ahead and deleted it? How do you feel about all these other set photos? Go ahead and leave me your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.